Hello folks, Lawrence May speaking here, uh, IBM Product Manager for BlueWorks Live. And I'm here today as part of a new initiative, which many of you have asked me to do, um, which is record a small video on our releases and walk through any features or new introductions of, of uh, capabilities and so on. So this is my first attempt and I hope this works for both of us. <laughs> um, all right, so March 2025 sees two new uh, features. First is a new API, uh, which I won't talk about today because those of you are, who are familiar with APIs and how to use them um, will be able to review that and it should be fairly self-explanatory. But what is new and what will be new to all of you is this introduction of a preview. It's a public preview, a, a beta, sometimes people call these, of a chat assistant. Um, I explain this in my blog, in the announcement, in the product itself, but just to just to recover this, the reason why we're launching this is because while some of you are very expert and navigate uh, BlueWorks Live with complete confidence and understand all the features and capabilities, many users, particularly new users, just simply don't. And what I didn't want them to have to do is to leave the product, go into a browser, search IBM documentation, read it, go back to BlueWorks Live and try these ideas. I wanted to make it much more organic. I wanted a much more um, kind of ergonomic approach to this. And if people have questions or queries or they're working late at night on a model and they suddenly don't understand how to do something, the ability to click within the tool itself and explore that feature I think is really, really important. Um, so that is the reason why we're introducing it today. Now I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to toggle this feature off. We did discuss at some depth whether we should release this enabled or disabled and we decided to be adventurous and let it be enabled on release and the reason being is we want people to play with it. We want people to tire kick it. Um, the more questions we get the better because we can look at the confidence levels and the responses, and it helps us calibrate both our IBM documentation, of course, but also the chat assistant itself. I want to point out that this is a, uh, a service that is absolutely limited to IBM public domain documentation only. It will not understand uh, questions about general IBM services or general IBM products. It won't be able to do support tickets or anything like that. It really is a little mini encyclopedia for all things BlueWorks Live. Um, over time, you may develop that, but this is the intent right now. So, uh, actually, I should point out before I uh, show you the AI assistant uh, working, um, we've had to make a small change. If you look at the bottom ribbon here, if you follow my mouse, you'll see that the invite new users and, and what chat feature. Uh, will be here on the left hand side. We had to move it from the right hand side from the IBM logo over to the left hand side So as people get come online, you'll see them scrolling across from the left here And the reason for that is because at oh, and conversely we had to move the BlueWorks Life service level agreement Sorry service agreement from the left hand side over to the right hand side and that is so I could get this little icon down here but first things first if you're concerned about um, opening up this capability to your your teams and your staff um, then follow these steps please go to admin up here click on it go to your customization settings and down here you'll see a new option which you can toggle on off sorry uncheck or check enable blueworks live assistant it really is as straightforward as that so let us get into a quick demo of how this works. Hopefully it will work. So I click on the little AI icon and to close it again, of course, to get rid of it, I just click on it again. Um, and it will say, hi, I'm BlueWorks Live. How can I help you today? We've put some pre-canned questions in here. And by the way, we're happy for feedback on this. Uh, we just picked these because we thought these were common questions. But if you could have any other ideas about what you think users will more typically ask, then we're really happy to shortcut. Um, but generally speaking, the purpose of this is to be able to ask anything you like. Again, as I said, in natural language. So uh, I'm going to try um, a couple of examples. Uh, what are spaces in? Oops. What are spaces 
in Blue Works Live. I'm going to um, put BWL just to see. Ah, now what will happen is is you'll have a little up uh, a little checkbox here which just talks about IP um, and etc. So close that down, and here we go. We've got an answer already. So what this has done is the assistant has gone out to that sort of corpus of information. It's looked at this question. It's only looking at BlueWorks Live documentation, as I said, and it's found an example. So in here, it's saying BlueWorks Live a spaces and access controlled area within your account, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, um, so that's good. That's functioned well. Now, if I type something else like How do I create a discovery map? Plus, it's going to go away and have a think. And it's come back. Okay, good. So the first thing to notice here is that it's come back with a, with a series of steps. It looks like six steps here. Um, so what it's trying to do is look at the whole documentation, well, seven steps, look at the whole documentation and come back with some simple sequences. And I can see that it's picking out name your process blueprint for instance security badge request. That will be because somewhere in the documentation there's an example which is using security badges as that example. So it's, it's bringing that information back. Again, this kind of demonstrates that it's not thinking for itself. Uh, it's not offering opinions, it's simply hunting what is in the documentation already. So that's good. Um, the other thing that you'll see is a little toggle down at the end of the answer. If you click on it, it will show you that public source space, right? So this, if you click on this, it will take us through to where the documentation is and uh, where it's sourcing this information. I'll just try one more question in the interest of time. Uh, something a bit more general. Uh, what are the best practices in designing processes? I won't use the word blueprint. I'll use processes. See what it comes up with here. Okay, good. Um, when designing processes, consider the best practices. Let's have a look. So, blueprinting, yeah, adding process details, making diagrams effective, improving a process layout, changing activities, etc., etc. By following these practices, you can create clear, comprehensive, and effective process diagrams. Well, I, I completely agree with that. Um, <laughs> so, look, it's this is the function, this is the feature, and it's and this is where it's getting from actually. Making no, that's that's good, that's a good reference. Okay. That is all I wanted to show you today, guys. I really hope this is uh useful for you. Like as like I say, this is very much focused on enabling those new users and hopefully stop them from picking up the phone and harassing you experts with lots of questions. Actually, you know, I really don't mean that at all. Um, you should definitely be talking to your new users. I've learned more about this product from talking to customers like yourselves and the demos that you've shown me than I have from exploring it myself, and that's genuinely true. Uh, so do please keep talking. Thank you for your time. Um, I hope you have some fun with the, with the chat assistant. Uh, let us know. If it isn't useful, we can always remove it sometime in the future, um, but it's there to help. Uh, socialize BlueWorks Live and get people using it quickly and instinctively. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening to me.